How's it going guys? So in this video I'm going to show you my foundation routine that I commonly use and yeah so let's get started. First I'm going to prime using my Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm all over my face and my neck, patting it in. And then I'm going to use Fifth Avenue Primer, face primer, and I'm just going to apply that to where my pores are predominant on my cheeks there and my nose, under my eyes, I think that this helps with creasing, and my smile lines, and I also really like to use this on my forehead because I have a bit of a line there that I really don't like and I like to use this to hide it. And next I'm going to use my Nutramedics, uh, I think it's called uh, Line Prime Anti-Age something something, I don't know. Anyway, I like to use this again where my pores are predominant. I like to use it on my forehead to hide the little frowning lines. I also like to use it on my nose, which you'll see me rub that into my nose area as well, and my smile lines. This is really great. It does help fill in the pores and it also really helps hide any little lines that you have and I like to put it under my eyes again to help prevent creasing at least that's my theory and I'm just rubbing that all in as you can see so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my beauty sponge with my favorite combo which is my BB cream by Rimmel London matte and my L'Oreal Luma Magique primer and I'm just mixing that all on my beauty sponge and applying that all over my face. I love this combo. I know it's a matte BB cream however it does look good on its own but I do prefer it with a bit of an illuminator in it because it just gives a really pretty finish. Um, the, well I mean the primer is not affordable it's kind of expensive it's 30 bucks but it really lasts because I use it in this way it just lasts a long time and the BB cream is really affordable it's like 12 13 dollars I like it a lot and it lasts a long time for me anyway it does and yeah so I'm just blending blending it in as you can see and next I'm going to use my covergirl ready set gorgeous concealer and I'm going to apply that to my under eyes and I'm going to put it down the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my lip, or above my lip rather, and my chin. Did I say my forehead? But yeah, I'm saying it again. I do quite like this concealer. I mean, I wouldn't say it's like the fullest coverage concealer, but for me, it gives me plenty of coverage. But if you're someone who prefers full coverage concealer, then this might not be for you, but I like it. And I also like to put a little bit of the concealer onto my finger just so I can dab it onto like any pimples or anything like that. I just don't like to contaminate my concealer wand. And then I just use my beauty sponge, the pointed end, and I blend that in. It looks rather violent, but you know, it is what it is. And I just blend that in until it's looking satisfactory. And yeah. So blend, blend, blend. I love using a beauty blender. It just gives such a flawless airbrush finish. So I highly recommend if you haven't tried a beauty blender or a beauty sponge, definitely give it a go. The key is to use it damp though. Never use it dry. It's going to just do sweet fuck all if it's dry. Having a damp one is definitely the key. So yeah, just a friendly tip. So next I'm going to bake and for that I'm going to use a translucent powder by Rimmel London and it's called Match Perfection. And I'm just using that damp beauty blender again and I'm using the sharp end of it. Is that called beauty blender? It says beauty sponge. It's not the beauty blender. Just wanted to clarify that. And yeah, just patting that in under my eyes to brighten underneath my eyes and also set that concealer that I put there. And I also like to apply some of it to wherever else I put concealer, you know, my nose, forehead, chin, wherever, everywhere. <laughs> and next I'm going to use my Astralis Fresh and Flawless Pressed Powder with a big powder brush. And I'm going to pat that in all over my face. And yeah... And I'm in the colour Nude, in case you're wondering. My powder is a good colour match for me, I feel like. 
And I'm just wiping off all of that excess powder from my baking. And running the powder down my neck. Always important to blend down your neck. And that's it, guys. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed this video. And I hope that you enjoyed the results. I definitely love this combination that I do lately. It just feels like it gives me a really nice finish. And yeah. Anyway, that's it. And this is the final product with me all done up. All my makeup and that. If you want to see a video on how I achieved this look, then definitely let me know and I can do that for you. Um, yeah, and that's a close up. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.